It was forecast to be sunny, warm, and calm, but what we got was cloudy, cold, and windy. Centennial Park wasn't fully open yet, so we set up by the parking lot. Our goal was to run each engine to the point where it would start with just a few flips of the hand. Each fuel tank fed four engines. OS engines are really hard to start out of the box. I can't imagine trying to do this without the electric starter. I've even deleted most of the cranking for this start. The first run on each engine was a very rich 20 seconds. Chris Hubbard made a surprise appearance and stayed for the duration. The fuel tubing I had used was too stiff for the clothespins to pinch, so the non-running engines were flooding out. I switched it for softer tubing. It wasn't long before the electric starter was dead. I had anticipated this, so we broke out the jumper cables. With Chris working one side of the prop and me the other, we got four engines running simultaneously. Finally, we got all eight engines running for a long duration exercise. It's a good thing I brought those earplugs. With eight engines running, we were pretty much constantly filling the tanks. Each engine got a full 70 minutes and we used about two and a half jugs of fuel, which was every drop we brought. So much castor oil was exhausted that it covered my car. I had to stop at a car wash on the way home just so I could see out the windows. The next day I did a flip test on each engine with a more conventional fuel tank setup. At first it was hard to get them going because the needle setting was so different, but once I figured this out, the engines were quite easy to start. About two weeks later, the springy needle valves and Venturi arrived. Two engines had already been configured, so I installed the needle valves on the remaining six. It is so frustrating installing that nut. I think I dropped it 10 times before this take. One time it rolled onto the floor and I discovered it was made of aluminum when I tried to sweep for it using my magnetic broom. It took 30 minutes to find it on my hands and knees. I flip tested the six reconfigured engines again with no problem at all. The engines are ready for racing. As usual, I have a supply of spares in case something breaks.